welcome back guys to another video and today we will be talking about another very different operating system now the last time i showed you guys how people made an operating system based entirely on the uh, java uh, programming language now today i have another operating system that is written in the single most difficult programming language uh, known uh, in the current uh, development environment so we are talking about the menu Minuet OS. Now, this OS, as it says on their web page, is a preemptive real time and multi process operating system in development for the PC written entirely in 64 bit and 32 bit assembly language. Now, if you guys are wondering what an assembly language code looks like, it the simplest of that I could find it looks like this. Now, this is even difficult for me to understand because there are no uh, proper words now there are some words like push maybe pop and something like that but most of them are just commands and codes that are executed directly on the cpu for the given architecture now this code changes from architecture to architecture and even sometimes from cpu to cpu uh, and the there are no there's no concept of variables all the data is directly manipulated on the CPU's register itself. So the hardware where uh, the hardware register where the data is actually saved. And this is what we are dealing with today. We have an operating system that is completely written on the uh, assembly language, and it's uh, complete with GUI and internet and everything, and it's completely written on the uh, assembly language. And of course, it's not based on Unix or POS6 standards at all. So let's get started. Let's see how this thing looks and let's uh, boot it up. All right, so here I have my virtual machine. And once I start this, uh, what you will see that it actually uh, runs on a very low resolution. Now I can, of course, change it and they do give that option. So now I can go ahead and select an option for a custom resolution and when they will uh, when it boots it says uh, select from the following resolutions and i can select from the largest of them uh, this doesn't support 1080p but that's all right i mean these guys have been uh, writing this code on uh, assembly language and uh, that's awesome by itself so whatever you see here is actually in assembly language they have a couple of games that we'll check out just soon and uh, we of course have uh, the webcam application and we can actually even um, run the internet but for some reason just is uh, not enough memory uh, i have given it like one uh, gigabyte of memory so i don't know why it's saying that so uh, let's i'll try to restart and i'll come back all right so it looks like the uh, web browser is not working at the moment uh, maybe it's because i am running all of this on a virtual machine or uh, maybe maybe not so uh, let's go ahead and try uh, now a few really interesting things that i would uh, like to show you guys is uh, you have a very simple uh, CPU usage graph but because this is written in assembly language what you do get is an application that actually shows uh, that actually shows the data in each of the register that is available so what you see here is actually a table and then there are different, different functions and registers and you can see that uh, what kind of uh, or what data is in each of the register in kind of a hexadecimal format uh, and um, that is uh, about what it shows now, of course you can go ahead and decode them if you like but uh, I'm going to leave it right here so uh, the next we have uh, quite a few uh, media stuff also um, and then we have uh, an application like paint and then remember guys everything that you see is actually written in the assembly code so um of course really awesome job let's let's try and uh, play some game uh, let's try if that works all right so it seems that uh, quake and doom do not work but we do have games like chess 
and of course the 3d image you now if you guys um had windows 98 you remember this uh, and even in 95 i guess uh, that there was this uh, 3d maze screensaver and this is what the game is it's not it's just a basically a demonstration of the um, 3d functionality i guess but um, we have this and we also have uh, a minesweeper like game oh no this is the uh, A connect for kind of a game we do have a minesweeper like game and which I just and uh, many other games actually so uh, a lot of work has been done so it's really awesome how they did it did all of this in actually um, a really nice uh, way uh, really presentable operating system and everything is written in of course the assembly language now we do have a few demos here uh, so let's let's run them and uh, let's see what they are we have a 3d view demo and this is the uh, of course very famous uh, teapot uh, demo and you can tweak some stuff there zoom in and zoom out and then uh, you see this teapot demo a lot of places um, Yes, another one of the classic demos you can just zoom in and keep zooming in uh, then we have something called magnify then of which of course magnifies what there is on the screen at the moment okay. and there is this little of fire demo so these are mostly the graphical demos that you will um, you know kind of show off this is mostly a project not to be really used uh, as a stable operating system but uh, I thought it's really nice that someone made something like this entirely out of assembly code so this is about it guys an operating system made out of made entirely out of assembly language code pretty awesome stuff thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys next time